Hi guys, it's Nathan from Howling Success Dog Training and Behaviour here. Just talking to you about desensitization and counter conditioning um, your dog to adverse stimuli. So, um, this is Albie, this is my boy, you might have seen him in an earlier video. Um, but desensitization and counter conditioning is the cornerstone of helping a dog that is reactive or a dog that barks while you're out on a walk at anything, uh, be it another dog, be it cars be it trucks, be it bikes, people, um, whatever your dog barks at, if they're barking out of fear, we use desensitization and counter conditioning to help fix that. Um, distance is your friend with desensitization and counter conditioning. Um, so that comes down to um, working at a distance where your dog is going to be alert to the trigger because they're not so far away that they don't care and they're like, mm, no, I don't mind that something's going on. Um, they're not too close, so that way they feel that they have to react because now they're nervous and they're fearful and they're scared, so they're gonna react to keep that scary thing away. Um, instead, we're gonna be working at a distance where they're just close enough that they're like, ooh, I see something scary over there. And as soon as they see something scary, that's where we are going to mark and reward them so um hopefully if you guys have followed our earlier videos you know what marker words are but a marker word is a word that means to your dog they have done the right thing and they are going to get a treat so we're going to mark and reward as soon as they spot the trigger um, now we're going to be taking things nice and slow um, and ensuring that our dog isn't displaying too many signs of stress and discomfort because we want this to be a positive experience for them um, so the presence of these adverse stimuli becomes something positive. Um, so whenever your dog looks over at the trigger, we're going to say yes, because that is the marker word we use. And your dog will be like, oh wow, I've done something good, I'm getting a treat. And they will turn and they will give you their full attention. Mark and reward, give them that treat. They're going to turn back to the trigger in nine times out of ten cases, unless your dog really likes the food you're working with. Um, but if your dog does turn back to that trigger, you're going to mark and reward again. And we're going to continue this till the um, trigger has now moved out of the way. Um, if you do move closer and the dog reacts, um, reset back to a further distance. The aim here is to be getting close as we can to these triggers, um, but there, there is no rush in this. Um, take your time. Don't go gun-ho running in um, because slow and steady wins the race when it comes to changing behavior um, and we are working on uh, basically unloading some trauma with your dog. Uh, you should be using quite high value treats um, because while there is going to be a lot going on we need to have something that is worthwhile for our dog to give us their attention for them to break their focus and also for something really tasty to be paired to that scary trigger. Um, so we're going to be using some high value treats. I like to use uh, Prime 100. There will be a little demonstration video of me using desensitizing can and conditioning over a few weeks on a rescue dog from Monica's Doggy Rescue. His name is Edison. He is a Roddy Kelby cross. And you will be able to see him slowly but surely over the weeks of me working with him get closer and closer to cars and trucks. Um, while he came in a dog that was reactive to cars, trucks, people, bikes, um, and dogs, so everything. <laughs> um, but very quickly, through the use of desensitization and counter conditioning, we have been able to approach all of these things. Um, we can get fairly close now. Uh, I can stand right next to the road without him reacting to vehicles, um, but I'll show you in the video at the end. Um, and also we're gonna be starting with a really high reinforcement rate. Um, so your dogs have already decided that these triggers are scary. Um, and we need to now start pumping them full of treats every time they are in the presence of these triggers um, and when they have noticed. Um, which brings me to a really important thing. Do not feed your dog a treat before they have acknowledged the trigger. Um, at this stage, they need to look up, see the trigger, then hear that marker word and turn. Um, because we're pairing scary things to food. We don't want food to be paired to scary things. Otherwise, we're going to lose a lot of our power there.
might be okay. So this is exactly where we were before when he reacted, but we've been working, so I'm hoping that we're okay to stick it out. Here. 